Hey Salamelas, welcome back to my channel. So I literally had this idea driving home on the way from work. Um, so the first part of this video is going to be filmed on my cell phone because my battery or my camera is dead so it's charging. But yeah, I was like, you know what, it would be so easy if someone could just help me think of ideas for supper because I like put together more or less like a menu for the month. Not where we stick by it, but just so we know more or less like what groceries to buy, what I'm going to cook every day. So when we both come home, so whoever comes home first is the one who starts the meal, unless it's curry, then I cook it. Because Trevino doesn't know how to cook curry as yet. But yeah, just so that we don't like, oh, I don't know what to have for supper today. And it's not like a whole drama. Mm, on Mondays, I am trying to enforce meat free Mondays. But Trevino, yeah, it's a little bit of a struggle, but we're getting there. So I'm, I have falafels today. And let's see what we can do. Okay, so all my vegetables are cut up. Vegetables, I don't know. It looks like this. Um, I don't really have a recipe of what I'm doing. I've just like eaten something similar at a, at a Greek place before. So I'm just going with the flow. I'm just gonna put a little vinegar in it, normal white vinegar, just to make it like a little more acidic. And then I'm gonna start frying the falafel and the halloumi. Just a tip for, okay, yeah, that's Alon, we're still busy. Just a tip for um, people who have young, young couples or a young singular, who's moved out of home, don't buy stuff just because it's what you used to and it's what your parents buy. Like I'm sure you saw my, my coriander, my danya, was like holding on for life, but it's because we don't really like cook curries that often. We don't cook curries like every day where you need danya. And then also like things like bread, like we buy bread because it's what our parents buy every day or every second day. And it literally just sits here and gets moldy. Like literally the birds have bread almost yeah so don't buy stuff if you're not going to use it hello hey. <laughs> okay so while Trevino is not here i we generally cook for supper and then we take it for lunch the next day so these are the falafels i don't know if they are going to be enough for us for supper tonight and lunch tomorrow so i put in two soya sausages now Trevino doesn't like soya sausages but i'm gonna mash up the falafels and soya sausages so you won't really know so we've got our pitas here you're just gonna cut it in half and fill it inside and then i've crumbled up the what are these things what's this falafel then we've got the uh, little cheeses what, why can't i what is this halloumi tzatziki and the little vegetables now we normally won't use so many dishes because no one wants to wash all these dishes but for the purposes of this video this is what it is. Now let me show you what it's going to look like when you're done. I'm just using my hands. Thoughts? Hmm. <laughs> it's very tasty. It's amazing. Okay. So yummy. Love you. Love you too. Tomorrow is your turn, eh? Done. So today we're going to make mincemeat and it's very 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 easy pasta to make. The instructions are on the back but because I have a weird thing with meat and a weird thing. I, wow, look at my sandals there. I do a little extra to the mince which I'm going to show you guys now. Okay so in here I've got mince and I don't put oil in it. Whoa, it's like fogging up. Okay I'm going to switch to my cell phone. Give me a second. Okay. So I've got mince in here and I don't put oil in it. I just let it cook like that and obviously I rinsed it beforehand. And then I'm going to add some stuff to it before I start with the mince meat seasoning. So I'm just adding some chopped chop spring onions. I add the um, white part and the green part as you can see. I just use two of them. And then in my nice mortar and pestle that broke unfortunately, I've just got one green chili and fresh ginger and then I'm also going to put ginger and garlic in. Okay, so you're just going to drop the heat and give this a nice stir. I like it when the mince gets a little bit brown. And for those of you who don't know, when Trevino and I weren't working, we actually used to make samosas and sell it at different companies. And seeing a whole lot of mince like this really, really takes me back. Okay, so in with the parsley. 
Okay, so just a note on that one. Um, depending on how spicy you guys like your food, you can add more chilies, but I added one because Trevino has this thing where if it's not supposed to be a hot spicy dish, don't make it a hot spicy dish. But I have a problem where I really cannot eat food if it doesn't have a kick to it because I feel like it's too bland. That's probably why I have like reflux problems and need to go to hospital and a drip and blah 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 if I eat too much. But that's beside the point. The other thing is you need to put your stove on low because there's no oil in the pot and you don't want the stuff to get burnt. So after the seasoning mix is in, you put in water, 800 milliliters, and then you put in your pasta, uncooked pasta, and you let it cook. Everything, once again, is the way that this box says you must cook it. I do think that I'm going to have a problem with this because I don't like tomato-based things. Cheese is melting nicely there. And this was a very quick and easy meal to make because it was literally made in one pot, unlike yesterday's. Am I in focus? I can't even see. So for this recipe, we are going to start by closing all the windows because we're cooking seafood. One more thing, I'm not actually going to be giving you guys recipes with like quantities and stuff. I'm just winging it, okay? So in here, we've got some... What is this thing again? We've got some crushed garlic. We've got some butter. And this is the garlic that I just um, smooshed up. And I'm going to let it bubble a little bit and then I'm going to put the rest of the ingredients in there. I've just added some lemon juice, some salt and pepper and I'm just going to let it bubble like this a little bit more and then I'm going to put in the seafood. I just put in the seafood mix frozen. I'm going to pick up the heat now. I had it on 4, I'm going to put it on 6. This was about 37 rand I think at Checkers. And then once this is cooked, obviously not rubbery but cooked which will be quite quick. I'm gonna put in some cream and then that's the seafood done. Just put in some fresh cream, just any fresh cream will do. And then I'm gonna let this simmer a little bit more and get a little bit thicker. And then this is done. So for the couscous, you're gonna need equal parts of couscous and equal parts of boiled water. So I'm just taking this and putting it into the pot. Is everything out? And then I'm gonna put some olive oil in and mix it so that it's all like binded and together. So you can see how the consistency changed after I put the oil in. And then in this cup, I've just got salt. And then I'm going to pour in some boiling water. Just give it up a nice mix. I'm coming now. Once that's combined, I'm just gonna cover it and it's gonna become what it needs to become. Okay, so that was way quicker than I expected because Trevino said he doesn't want the asparagus. It's fine the way it is. And yeah, now I'm yellow. So yeah, I'm done. I think that was the quickest one that I made this week. Even Why am I so zoomed in? That was definitely the quickest one that I made this week. Hello. I'm loving this. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Do you want to look? Do you want to show them in the plate? Yo, guys, look at the couscous. I can't believe that's how you make couscous. Uh, FYI, this was my first time making these meals, so... Good, good job. Good job to me. Good job, me. Good job. Okay, and this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like amazing, obviously, because there's no green in it. But it tastes good and it was actually very cheap for what it is. And yeah, it's nice to have a break from meat, because some of us don't like meat. That some of us is me. So this is going to be like the most complicated meal ever. Extra virgin olive oil. Let's put this in a bit. How does she vlog and cook at the same time? This is difficult. So literally the one day I get home before Selena. And yeah, that's my prize. We get to cook supper. Shit, that did not just happen. Okay. Guess I'm just gonna have to put some back. Uh, yeah. Eat your vegetables, kids. Eat your vegetables. So this is what this is what guys do. We improvise. Supper for me. Supper for Selena lunch for tomorrow so this is Trevino's creation it looks really 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 good do you know what to go nice with this some garlic bread mm. what do you want to call this meal hunar 
à la Travino. Schooners. Schooners. Hello. Okay, I've been at home today. So I've basically been living in my pajamas. And I also have a little bit more time to cook supper tonight. So I'm gonna put some chops in the oven with some red cabbage. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know the story about the red cabbage. And I've got some asparagus and then I'm gonna make some mash. So this is a little bit longer than the other ones, but it's gonna be worth it. And usually on Fridays we do cook stuff that takes a little bit more time because it's not like we're in a hurry to pack for the next day and just rest for work the next day. So let's get started. Okay, I've just marinated the lamb chops in the bag. I have put in ginger and garlic, salt and pepper, rosemary and whatever sauce that we had in the fridge. And then I'm going to put in the vegetables. Mash has done this, just some salt, butter, um, milk and some dried herbs. Okay, now for the vegetables, I like my vegetables extremely, extremely crispy, like black crispy. So I've just put salt and pepper in here. Then once this is almost done, I'll put in the steamed asparagus just to get a little bit more crispy. Chops are done and now that they're done, I'm just gonna put a little bit of cayenne pepper on top and turn them around and they are ready to be devoured. This, okay, this is exactly how I like my veggies. So I'm just gonna put, whoa, okay, steam. I'm just gonna put a little bit of southern coating red crumbs on top so it gets a little bit more crunchier and flavor. And then it's time to plate and eat.